Okay, so last summer, which is a long time ago, we found a dead bumblebee on our sidewalk leading up to our house. So we were like, maybe we should try to preserve it. It won't be that hard. We kept it in a bag in a Tupperware container. Assuming that I'm able to get it out of the bag without it turning to dust, I am going to attempt to use hand sanitizer and take out the bubbles with a pipette. So I have all the stuff that you need. I'm a little nervous about these jars. They were the best ones I could find in terms of size, but I don't know like how well they seal, which is kind of the main thing that they need to be able to do. Okay, you ready? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna start with that. That's kind of cool. I kind of love it. Okay, just do this my free time. I'm gonna try this. Well, I brought tweezers, but I'm worried that's just gonna make it worse. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, that is actually incredible. Okay, I'm supposed to let it sit and soak, otherwise it's supposed to like kind of float to the top, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually put a little more on top. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Okay, that's that for now. Um, I could try taking some of the bubbles out now, but I don't want, I don't know why it's so important. I'm sorry, dead bug. You were already dead. I'm worried about this jar. It's pretty awesome. Okay, I am back. It looks like there are like more bubbles, like really small bubbles. I'm gonna pour a little bit more hand sanitizer and I'm gonna suck out the tiny bubbles. And then I don't know if I should let it sit a little more or at what point it's safe to screw it on and never open it up again. Oh my goodness. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, see there's still like some really tiny bubbles and I'm gonna go in and get them. Okay. Alright, 